this really interesting update which to me doesn't really make much sense but maybe because i don't use the app i don't really know what's going on but this is an interesting little development happening that i kind of saw on the interweb so it's following tinder snobs can now pay 4.99 dollars per month to be matched with the most sought after personalities so tinder has rolled out a promised high-end membership a pricey 400 dollars basically 500 dollars per month subscription dubbed tinder select which includes unique perks like the ability to be seen by more users including tinder's most sought after profiles the ability to direct message others matching others without matching and other vip exclusive features this feature feels like an ability to monetize creeping it probably already happens. I'm sure there's a contingency of incredibly thirsty men because, you know, men can be thirsty, myself included. I'm sure there's meant to be an incredibly big group of thirsty guys out there who probably will match somebody on Tinder. It doesn't work out, but then they'll get their name. And maybe sometimes, you know, some people I'm sure link their fucking social media profiles on those things, which is fucking insane. And then they'll try and fucking dig deep and find out about them personally. I'm sure that does happen. So, they're just trying to find a way to profit from it, essentially. But that's an insane thing to do, to allow people to, you know, message people without being matched. The whole point why these fucking dating apps worked, I thought, the whole reason behind it was that, obviously you have this ability to kind of, you know, it's kind of surface level shallowness, which we all are guilty of. But then it also allows you to kind of gauge who's interested in you because if they match, then you can fucking start talking. But that's still not a guarantee that it's going to go anywhere. But I'm sure some people you match and you just the conversation just stays on the fucking app and doesn't really go anywhere. It doesn't really go into IRL stuff. It just is what it is. And sometimes along the way, they're like, you know what, fuck you. And they unmatch you. But trying to then allow people to message people they don't match, who they wanted to match is fucking crazy personally for me that is insane but hey maybe there's a rationale behind it let's continue with the article the news was first reported by bloomberg and follows a parent company match groups earlier confirmation that tinder would expand its membership options to include a new high-end product catered to gen z users sometime this fall so it's going to be a new product for gen z users but i wonder what the tinder select is i wonder if this is why that their way of kind of trying to get on top of raya because i think raya had a bit of a slowdown i heard on for certain articles but i'd imagine nowadays because of the prevalence and the abundance of fucking dating apps out there maybe there is a portion of people out there who would prefer to have a more select group of people to select from and pay for that privilege that's what probably Riot does, even though it's a celebrity kind of thing. It's more so for like high profile people who don't want to be bait and seen on fucking Tinder and shit. And I'm sure they have some privacy and safeguards in place to prevent people from screenshotting people's profiles and sharing this, sharing that, whatever it may be. And obviously it's probably like, you know, if you share something and it gets linked back to you, you probably get banned for life, I'd assume. But maybe this is their way of kind of matching that because it must be, you know, maybe there's a, there's make, there's probably an abundance of fucking dating apps out there. I don't use any of them, so I don't really know, but I'd imagine there's probably loads of those out there. And maybe nowadays, even regular people, regular schmegular civilians who aren't famous, like, you know what? I, I spend a lot of time on this app anyway. I get a lot out of it. Um, it kind of allows me to sort of like fast track my dating or fucking hookups and shit without, you know, going on needless dates and shit. You can eventually, you can essentially just gauge the interest straight away on an app there's a bit of disconnect there as well because it's an app and it's not face to face so you can probably throw a few a few more risque um you know um hell mary shots and see wild one so you pay for that privilege because it is saving you time and money if you think about it going out trying to approach people in real life bloody blah 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 and doing that whole back and forth it kind of does speed up the process for you a little bit so you can find out yes or no where you can go with this kind of relationship you would imagine you would imagine let's continue it says the features alone necessarily aren't necessarily sorry what sales tend to select instead it's an exclusivity tinder says that less than one percent of users will be allowed to gain access to the premium product and members can choose to display their status with the exclusive select badge on their profile hold on so they're gonna have a so you you can't just pay for it you're gonna have to go through some sort of application process interesting so it is basically their version of raya um inspiration for this members only twit tinder comes from march's um 2022 acquisition of another high-end dating app the league which costs users up to one thousand dollars per week yo how ma- why do people really this maybe explains a lot about the content online that i hate which is all that dating relationship sex life content right um who should pay for the date first or have you ever slept to somebody on a period would you propose to a man how much does he have to earn 
clearly I'm in a minority because the majority of people out there love that content. Hence why platforms like, you know, Fresh and Fit and others, they do crazy amounts of views. Those panels they do gets crazy amounts of views. Even I forgot those guys, I think it's Sidemen or somebody else. They do a kind of like a weird dating tour type of thing that people love. I've never watched a single one of those episodes. It's not for me, but clearly I'm in the minority because the majority of people love it so much that they are willing to pay $1,000 per week to be able to use an app a high-end dating app so that must mean people really care about their dating lives they care a lot about their sex lives and the point that they're willing to spend that kind of much that kind of level of money or they want access to the most high caliber of people out there which is odd because just because you have access to them doesn't mean you're going to get them right or you're going to have a chance with them it's, it's an odd thing right to like assume that you're going to do that to or maybe you just want to be in the presence of it i don't really know it's a strange thing there's no guarantees that they're going to like you right you're just throwing you're kind of throwing a lot of money down a drain kind of especially if you're not at that level yet but anyway we continue during its q2 2023 earnings um tinder cpo mark van rich um said the league indicated that there was a market for daters who were willing to pay for quality matches and experiences but tinder select doesn't rely on human and matchmakers nor does it offer anything that's really worth the 500 per month membership beyond exclusivity the feature is set is pre is fairly paltry select members can direct message another member without matching but only up to two times per week okay that kind of limits the creeping and the fucking annoyance and the pestering to two times per week which is crazy to even offer it but whatever they can't send a super like at the same time plus some recipients uh, so plus some recipients can opt out receiving dms the company's website notes in addition select members profiles will be shown unblurred in the like you grid in the app for up to seven days even if they don't pay for tinder gold or platinum subscriptions that's a lot bro that's not really that's not really worth the money in it you don't really get much from that but i guess again it kind of puts you up in the algorithm and again that that, that goes to show that all these apps control how your things are seen so this extends to everything so whenever they put in so if you're a content creator out there i think it's probably imperative for you to pay for whatever pay service that these apps offer you whether it's fucking youtube probably premium i probably might benefit from paying for it whether it's fucking instagram there's a verified option you could also pay for whether it's twitter or x as now it's called you can pay for a verified thing on there and by you know all of them i think they basically promise you if you pay then you have the ability to sort of like have your things that you post on there seen by more people. I think it's very, it's almost imperative to do that nowadays um, because clearly these apps, they control how things are displayed. I know this because I worked at fucking Depop and when I was at Depop, like we could pop things on the grid on the like discovery page and really it was to one person's discretion as to what went on the discovery page people be messaging all the time oh how do i get myself on there how do i get myself on there and you know there'll be some long-winded explanation about it but essentially it was down to a couple of people in the community management team and then i think when another person got hired she kind of absorbed it into her role and kind of took ownership of it but we had basically the button that could essentially have your things listed on the fucking discovery page so it was never like oh because certain things are liked or because this person and has better pictures no it was like are you in favor with this person that has the button that has, that has the finger on their button yes if so your stuff gets popped other people doesn't get popped simple as that really it continues however select members are promised to be shown tinder's most sought after profiles so they can enjoy more quality matches the company doesn't um, detail how this technology works or how it rates this so-called exceptional connections but one might imagine that they include select members or those users most liked or those users um that i like the most okay cool so that's how it's going to bump you up so you're going to get matched a lot more to select members who want to pay so you're going to have to hope people are going to willing to pay and you're going to hope that the ones that get liked the most also like you <laughs> which is a real gamble to take for 500 dollars per month in addition tinder select users will go to test new tinder features to advance the users and will able to hide ads and see likes that they sent over the last seven days the subscription can be stacked with plus or gold platinum subscription to access more features the company says of course they're going to let you stack it they're not going to give you all in one they're going to basically allow you to buy tinder select and also buy plus gold or platinum on top of course they'll do that because there's more money in their bank but just thinking myself now right it is a bit strange because this is also assuming that things are just easier once you get the tinder select like you're paying for that kind of membership that doesn't guarantee you're going to get anything from it right you're not going to get it doesn't guarantee you're going to you're going to smash it doesn't guarantee you're going to meet them it doesn't matter guarantee you're even going to get a fucking hug right so you're spending quite a bit of money 
and you probably still have to spend more money to find out if there is anything for you down that path with that person it's an interesting way to go about things right but i would assume nowadays if you're on those apps and you pay for the free version or sorry oh you just have the free version it's probably not even worth it they probably limit the amount of times you can use it in a day the amount of dms you can send they basically put you in a corner where you only have an option to pay that's how fucked up those apps are <laughs> to apply for tinder select users must have at least four photos five interests uh, bio with a minimum of 15 characters show relationship intent be photo verified uh, importantly have way too much money to spend on dating apps exactly if approved they receive an in-app message to alert them as well as an email with a unique unlock code through tinder select it, though instant set isn't expected to attract but a small number of subscribers a feature price that could boost tinder's bottom line at a time that tinder has seen a decline in paying users which dropped to four percent year over to what which dropped four percent year over year to 10.5 million as conversions decreased decreased the company report in august of course i would think that especially now when everybody's outside i'd imagine tinder select and all those things probably were booming during the lockdown people were lonely they were at home they wanted just some bit of company or whatever it may be so they were just buying those things just to kind of keep chatting to people and obviously arrange hookups on the sly but once people stepped outside tinder kind of you know the, the the use for paid tinder is a bit down because i remember being in, in clubs and bars and stuff and seeing guys using tinder in the clubs where they'll go out and they'll purposely turn it on when they're in the radius of a cool bar and if there's some cute girls there they'll might like or whatever and then there's an easy chance to kind of get to people in real life um but it doesn't mean you'll use it doesn't mean you need to get the paid version to do that feature you can easily use the free version so it's an interesting approach um interested to see how far this goes and if people actually like it but 500 dollars is a lot bro you have to really fucking be into dating but like i said i'm probably in the minority because there's plenty of people out there who love to date who love to hang out who love to just chin wag who love to talk about fucking dating because i'm sure that happens a lot with people that go on tinder and shit it just ends up being a conversation about a conversation you already had online so that probably happens so maybe 500 dollars is worth it because you save a bunch of money because you probably would never meet these people in real life and if you did have to meet them you have to invest in a lot of money to meet them maybe you have to go to fucking festivals go to clubs and stuff go outside god forbid so if you have the ability to find all these people on your app alone via your smartphone it probably makes a lot of sense so good luck with you guys out there if you are going to use tinder select you can find it wherever tinder is located you know where to find it you don't need me to send you there find it use it enjoy it and obviously wear protection that's all i say to you guys out there make sure you wear protection